Uh, hello everyone. I am Chongchen from Tsinghua University. I'm glad to be here to talk about my recent research on recommendation and learning. I would like to start with the research background. First, for recommendation, uh, with the continuous development of the internet, information explosion has become a great challenge that people are faced with. To alleviate the information overload issue and improve user experience, recommender systems have been widely deployed in today's web platforms and applications. As one of the most effective methods to solve the problem of information overload, the research of recommender systems has attracted extensive attention from both academia and industry. Second, for machine and learning task. Once a machine learning model is built, it has potentially memorized the training data. However, in many cases, it also needs to forget certain sensitive data and any influence of this data. This is called machine unlearning. So why do we need machine unlearning, especially for recommendation models? Uh, consider privacy first. Recently, several regulations has, have been proposed to uh, protect the privacy of users, such as GDPR and uh, CTPA. One of the most important articles in these regulations is the right to be forgotten, uh, which requires systems to eliminate any impact of the data whose owner requests to forget. The second reason is utility. If a system's utility is damaged by some bad data, the system needs to forget such data to regain utility. Moreover, generally, users' preferences are dynamic and changeable. For example, a user who wants to buy a mobile phone will be happy to see recommendations about mobile phones. But after the purchase, uh, she will not be interested in the recommendations of new mobile phones. For, uh, for some time. In this case, the user will want to delete certain data so that the system can provide more useful recommendations. While unlearning is very important, it has not been well considered in existing recommender systems. Although there are some researchers uh, who have studied the problem of machine unlearning, existing methods cannot be directly applied to recommendation as they are unable to consider the collaborative information in, uh, user, atom, in user atom interactions. The most, the most naive and learning method is to return from the original data after removing the samples that need to be uh, forgotten. However, it requires expensive computational cost for big models and uh, large-scale data to return the model. Formally, we define the task of recommendation and learning to achieve three general objectives. The first one is uh, it must have probable guarantees. It is the basic requirement of unlearning, which demands that the revoked data must be really unlearned and do not influence model parameter. The second objective is uh, high unlearning efficiency. The unlearning process of forgetting the required samples should be as fast as possible. And the third objective is comparable performance, which means the performance of the unlearned model's prediction should be comparable to that of retraining from the scratch. To achieve the above objectives, we propose a new recommendation unlearning method we call Rack Eraser to achieve efficient unlearning while maintaining high recommendation performance. The general idea of rack eraser can be abstracted into three steps. First, we divide the training data into several disjoint shards. And second, we train some models independently. Uh, and the three, finally, we aggregate the results from all shards for final prediction. And under this framework, when receiving an unlearning request of data, only the corresponding shards 
model and the aggregation part needs to be retrained, which could be um, much more efficient than retraining from the whole data. The challenges of the above re recommendation and learning framework includes how to split data will preserve the collaborative information and how to assign weights to submodels as they generally have different contributions to the final prediction of different user item pairs. To keep the collaborative information of the data, we design three data partition, uh, partition strategies based on the similarity of users' items and interactions, respectively. We also propose an attention-based adaptive aggregation method to further improve the, the, the recommendation performance. The input of recommendation are user item interactions, uh, which contains rich collaborative information. And to preserve the collaborative information, one promising approach is to rely on uh, community, com community detection and uh, uh, classing methods. However, uh, due to the underlying structure of real-world data, these methods may lead to highly unbalanced data partition. Therefore, the unlearning efficiency will be affected if the request sample belongs to a large shard. And to address the above problems, we propose three new balanced data partition methods. The general idea to achieve balanced partitions is to cite the maximum number of the shards with a size like t, and we only allocate data points to shards whose size does not exceed the max number t. And after the training data is partitioned, a submodel uh, is trained on each shard data, and generally various submodels should have different contributions for the prediction of different user item pairs. So we further propose an attention-based adaptive aggregation method to further improve the recommendation performance. Uh, specifically, considering that the representations of users and items learned by different submodels may be embedded in different space, we first transfer the em embedded, uh, the first transfer them into the same representation space. Then the aggregation embeddings of users and items are calculated with attention scores. The articles of our rack errors is uh, uh, it's not related to some to base models, so it can be applied on various recommendation models such as uh, BPR, uh, WMF, and uh, LATGCN, etc. And our rack errors are adopt, adopts a two-step training process. The first step is training submodels, and the second step is fixing submodels and uh, training the attention-based uh, aggregation part. Then in our experiments, we use three public datasets, which are YAP, uh, more than 1 million, and uh, more than 10 million. We compare with the state-of-the-art machine and learning methods on different, on different recommendation models. The compared recommendation models include BPR, WMF and uh, LATGCN, and the compared machine and learning methods include return, uh, CESA, and uh, graph eraser. And the recommendation performance is evaluated by recall and NDCG in our work. We first evaluate the model utility of our method. We can see that our proposed rack eraser achieved the significant significantly better performance than uh, other uh, state-of-the-art and learning baselines on the three data sets. Specifically, we can see that on YAP, uh, on YAP 2018 data set, our rack errors exhibit, exhibits average improvements of more than 40% better performance uh, compared to CESA when using base models BPR, uh, WMF, and LATGC respectively. And on other data sets, the, the results of rack errors are also remarkable. We could attribute it to the substantial improvements to two reasons. 
Uh, first, I will rec er erase partition data through the proposed similarity-based methods, which can enhance the performance by uh, maintaining the collaborative information uh, in, in the training data. And we also proposed an attention-based uh, uh, we also proposed our attention-based aggregation method to adaptively ag aggregate submodels, uh, which could further improve the global model uh, performance. We then conducted experiments to explore the learning efficiency of our record errors. Uh, results show that compared to return compared to return from the whole data, our proposed uh, Rack errors framework can significantly improve the learning efficiency. Uh, for example, um, we learn 10 million decides the acceleration of our rack errors compared to return is over 10 times, uh, which is highly valuable in practice. And for return method, training on a large data is very time consuming. And for our rack errors, only the corresponding submodel and the aggregation part need to be retrained to forget the required data. Uh, in this paper, we, we propose three balanced data partition methods based on the similarities of users, atoms, and uh, interactions. We first conduct an uh, evaluation study to understand their effect. First, we can see that our proposed methods uh, user-based we call the UBP, uh, user-based we call the IBP, and the interaction-based we call the MBP. Uh, we can see that our proposed the three uh, our proposed three methods can achieve a much better recommendation performance compared to uh, the random random partition method. And uh, secondly, from an over overall view, it is more effective to partition the recommendation dataset based on user item interactions than only based on users or items only. Then to illustrate the effective, effectiveness of the proposed attention-based uh, aggregation method, which is denoted as uh, ATTAGG, we compared with, with uh, mean aggregation method and uh, sta static aggregation method on, the, on two data sets. The mean aggregation method has been utilized in CESA, which obtains the aggregation scores by averaging the prediction of all submodels. And the static aggregation has been utilized in previous work graph, graph eraser, which is a learning-based method, but uh, the weight cannot change for different user item interactions. Uh, from the results, we can see that the proposed uh, attention-based aggregation method could achieve the best performance and uh, uh, compared to mean aggregation and uh, statical aggregation, which, uh, which is reasonable since, uh, since for different submodels, the prediction of different users and item interactions should also be different. We also conduct the experiments to investigate the impact of sharp number. Results show that the average and learning time decrease when the number of shards increase for all recommendation models. Meanwhile, the recommendation performance of all the three recommendation models uh, slight, uh, slightly decrease. In practice, the number of shards should be carefully selected to balance the learning efficiency and the recommendation performance. And finally, let me make a brief conclusion. In this work, we propose a novel rack erasure framework, which is, to the best of our knowledge, the first machine and learning method tailored to recommendation tasks. And to permit efficient and learning while keeping the collaborative information of the data, we first design three uh, data partition strategies. We then further propose an adaptive aggregation method to improve the global model utility. And uh, extensive experiments have been made on three real world data sets. And uh, our proposed rack erasure can not only achieve efficient unlearning, but also outperform the state of the art unlearning methods in terms of model utility. We believe the insights of, our, of this work are inspirable for uh, future development of recommendation unlearning methods. 
Okay, that's all. Thank you.